Hello everyone, this is Rakesh Kapilas and we were discussing the plus two business studies topic organizing and in organizing we were discussing the organizational structure and in our earlier part of the video we have discussed the first type of uh, organizational structure that was uh, functional when a company used to divide its whole activity on the basis of its function. Now we will discuss the second divisional structure. Divisional structure is that structure when company used to divide its activity on the basis of a product. This type of structure will come into action, will be useful for the companies when the company is dealing in more than one product. When the company is manufacturing more than one product, then this divisional structure will be really good and it will be really fruitful for the achievement of organizational goal. Now, what type of structure this is? First of all, same at the top level, there will be shareholders, then after that board of directors, then after that general manager. But after general manager, you can see now it is a little bit different. Now, suppose a company is dealing in two types of product, product A and product B. Then these two product A and B will be made separate individual independent departments. One is product A department and product B department. Now under A and B product department, similar procedure will be followed as in case of functional. Like production department is being subdivided into production, de uh, production department, sale department, finance department of A product. Department A having different types of uh, sub activities relating to production, relating to sale, marketing, finance, personal, store, everything. That is product A. Dealing with product B, you can take the example of Tata. Tata is also dealing in automobile. Tata is also uh, dealing in FMGs, fast moving goods. So one department is automobile. Second department is FMGs, fast moving goods. Just me Tata salt a jata hai. Or Tata ki jo chiz jati Tata T a jati hai jo household use goods aati hai. So these two departments will be separately made by the company. And under these two uh, two departments different types of functions on the basis of functions activities will be grouped production head sale head finance head as in case of functional so this is divisional structure come to the advantage what type of advantage you will get what type of advantage this company will get if divisional structure is being followed the very first is quick decision like there will be no interference of a in b and b in a so a will take the decision quickly and b will take the decision quickly no interference second is no interference if anything uh, if b product want to make the expansion then no need to consult a there is there will be no interference of b so product b can make the expansion third easy to judge the performance like this is separate individual and independent department as well as this is also so if a is doing well b is not doing well a is not doing well or b is doing well then their performance can be separately judged Right? And if is not, A is not doing well, then company should focus on the betterment of a product A. If B is not doing well, then the company should focus how to enhance the performance of B. Third advantage. Come to the disadvantage. There may be certain type of uh, negatives or demerits of this type of structure. The very first is again conflict. Everybody, A department or B department, every department just try to show that we are best than other in, in the eyes of top level management. There may be certain conflicts and in, in that conflict case, they, they may hurt the uh, organizational interest. They may hurt or they may harm the image of the company or maybe they may harm the, you can say, overall performance of the company. So that, that is conflict. Second is impact on overall performance. Impact on overall performance means suppose if A is doing well, sorry B is doing well, but A is not doing well. So because of the bad performance of one department, the another department performance will neutralize that. I am giving you example, A is doing sale of 100 suppose and B is doing the sale of 20. So total performance of this company will become 120. It can be more than 120, 130, just, this is just because of B's performance. So impact on overall performance means that if a product ki, ek department ki performance is not good, then it will be 
डाउन करेगा सो दिस इज द डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ दिस डिविजनल स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द डिविजनल एंड फंक्शनल स्ट्रक्चर